Hello everyone. Welcome to Meerkats from Mars SMP server. My name is Zoe and this is episode two of our series. In episode one, we toured our shopping district that we've been working on for a year. And in this upcoming episode, we're going to take a tour of some of our community projects. So we have a lot of building off camera that I would like to show you guys just to catch you guys up before we continue the progress that we've already made on our base and other projects going forward. So without further ado, let's get geared up and we're going to start by coming through here. Okay, hello. Hello, Mr. Mushroom. All right, so <gasps> where did our friends go? Oh, well, we had two piglins there, but they're gone now. Okay, so this is our community apartment complex. We've got all of our villagers here. Um, this is just community use, so if you need books, um, instead of everybody needing to make a whole bunch of librarians, they can just come here to the apartment complex. And these guys are willing to take your books and emeralds. Um, there is an upstairs. Oh, what's this? Oh. <laughs> I don't remember those being there. Okay. Um, Oh, hello. We have one librarian up here. We got some others. Um, these aren't really used that much. I mean, honestly, people could just come in here and take these if they wanted to, um, if they needed to start their own villager breeder or whatever, but these guys are here. Russell is the one who um, got all of the librarians their trades they were back at his starter base <laughs> he decided to move them over here for community use and then i built this building around them so um i built this based off of something that i had found i will do my best to reference everything that i have built um if i can find the references that i used so that is our main area that we have for the community. Um, we do have a, another district. So we just left our shopping district. Um, our gaming district is very much just in its starting phase. Okay, uh, so Dingy is working on this really cool <laughs> design for a road. Um, we don't have very many games yet. Uh, this is our Connect 4. And then this is our stadium for Leaf Sleeve. Um, Leaf Sleeve is definitely one of my favorite games. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> hello Mr. Snowman um so I've played that game with friends but this is a new game and I actually haven't played it yet um I've actually never even been inside of it so I don't know if it's finished <laughs> but we'll check it out real quick Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Mm, well, couldn't tell you if it was <laughs> finished or not. I'm guessing not since there's just some other stuff out here, but yeah. But yeah, so that's a work in progress. We just really haven't done much with it. Um, we only started working on that. I'd probably say in January or February. Okay. We had a few um, community events that we did. This is Love Island from Valentine's Day. So let's go through here. Okay. And 
here we go. Got a few hearts. Another heart. Oh, there's a heart in the ground. A little. So on Valentine's Day, we all came in here and we met and we shared cookies. And we just had a big old grand time. Uh, there was an unfortunate event. I had found a wolf. I had put him on a lead. I saw this fence post up here and I was like, okay. I just gotta hick him up here because I didn't have another fence post. Yeah, that was a bad idea because he couldn't reach the floor. And when I unhooked the lead, um, he took fall damage and it was very tragic. <laughs> We're getting ready for our Easter event. The island's really close. So let's head over there real quick. Uh, um, excuse me, sir. Uh, please, not today. Not today. Oh, look, somebody built another. Ha ha ha, I haven't seen this one yet. Let's see what we got here. I haven't seen this one. Oh, another statue. All right, I thought I was the only one who built statues. So for this Easter event, the square right here, I based this off of Stardew Valley's um, dancing festival. Um, you've got a table with all the foods and snacks. Um, you've got all these flower beds all the way around. Now in Stardew Valley, they're actually like barrels of flowers, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> did with what I can. So anyways, we will all get together. Um, and there's a build competition. And then we're also going to do a uh, just like a mini competition, but I'm not gonna do any spoilers for that. We had a St. Patrick's Day event. And to get there, we will take the train station. So I'm gonna go back to the shopping district and we'll take the subway there. I did mention in our intro video that um, Dingy decided that we should have a subway network and he has been, I cannot imagine how many hours <laughs> that he has spent on that project already. Um, if you watch his video, you can kind of see some sn snippets of um, what the inside of the subway looks like. Oh, oh I didn't want to go back up. At some point I mentioned to Dingy, I said, hey, for one of the subway stations, I would like to base it off of the train station that you can find in Salt Lake City, Utah. And <laughs> Dingy is amazing. Um, I, the color scheme, the archways, um, he built this train based off the Emerald Express that is at his base. And then over here, he made, this is our town hall castle. This red bit is to show our lighthouse. And then this is our nether portal mushroom tree. And then just over here, this is our spawn island where we had trees and we have that tower. Um, Dingy's just so creative and I love it. So he is starting to make videos. So I would, I have linked his channel below so that way you guys can go and view it. Let's see, Mushroom Island, next stop spot. Okay, let's go. Don't wanna sleep in 
Cause I got something to prove I gotta take what I hate and finally make a move I think of you and all the shit you don't do Well I'ma make hella sure that I don't become you I have no regrets, yeah I'm tired of my chest I'll never forget what it's like to be a dead babe Stabbed in the back bed, I'll show you what happens Pass me the mic and I'll show you with action I feel this pain, you already know Turn that to games, let my money show I've got these things that I can't let go Watch me turn this life into something that you can never own I feel this pain, you already one thing about the redstone for these, uh, for the subway is that this part where it's kind of slowed down is intended to make it to where when you're traveling in a pack that um, everyone who's following along the train will catch up to each other, which is great when we are traveling together and we're using proximity chat. Dingy has made note blocks for where you can stop, and he's got minecart hoppers to unload and reload the carts so that way you don't have to bring your own cart whenever you're traveling. And every now and then you'll hear some music because he has hidden note blocks just around the area so far the railroad does not go to my base because that subway line hasn't been completed yet but we're working on it <laughs> i have already started digging out a place for where my subway station will be and then there are going to be uh, multiple lines going through my station. We'll have one that's going uh, north and south and then one that's going east and west. Alright, let's go ahead and get off here if we can. Shoop! Oh, oh, I'm standing in the way. My bad. Oops, nope, nope. There you go. Wait, more. There you go. <laughs> Hello. Um, welcome to Pumpkin Palace. Uh, it seems like... <laughs> oh, man. So, at the very beginning... <laughs> of the world, Eddie was like, hey, I'm gonna make a, uh, <laughs> a big, uh, gosh, I haven't even been under here in a long time. And he's like, I'm gonna make a big pumpkin <laughs> farm. <laughs> and so a whole bunch of us just <laughs> came over here, <laughs> dug out this hole. <laughs> So that was really great. That was, it's really nice because everyone here, most of us have known each other for a while and we've played on different servers together, different worlds together. So, oh my, wow. Um, there's a lot of new stuff that I haven't seen, but really I just wanted to come over here so we could use the nether portal. Um, the entrance. Um, is it right here? Whee! Perfect. Do I need to go up more? Perfect. Here we go. Oh, what is that? That's cool. Alright. Don't get distracted. Don't get distracted. Okay, here we are. Let's figure out if we need to sleep. Nope. Okay, let's go. Into the castle we rise. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, uh, make sure to free up a few inventory slots before you start. Take one shovel per team. Um, 
the Lucky Charm Hunt. Shake my hand and I will be your friend. I'm out to the first charm I'll vend. X marks a spot where you'll find a pot of gold at the rainbow's end. Please return used spades, charms, and chests in this chest. Empty. Okay. Um, storage room. Oh, let's see what we got here. I'm going to step back a little bit. You only need to break shovel blocks, i.e. not stone, moss, etc. Do not break any decorations, farmland, plants, item frames. You may only use the shovels provided. No good tools or punching. All treasures are on land. None are underwater. Please replace the ground cover over treasures after looting them. Use of tweakaroo or similar spectator mods is not allowed. All right, let's go take a good look. Three, two, one, grand reveal. Okay, let's see. I think this is just lighting, yeah. Okay, and so everything on this island is um, hand placed. It was pretty much just completely barren with sand. Cork, Galway, Limerick, Dublin. Wishing well, make a wish. charm event oops <laughs> another one of our community projects was started by Nalira and Lynn and they decided that in order to better be able to decide like what directions we're going when we're on another roof is let's just make some ice roads um, I actually did, we used thin map on our server and I figured out how to add another roof to our den map. So it's really nice and convenient for being able to know where you are on the nether roof and how to get to each other's spaces. And so we'll just, um, we'll just fly around. Let's see, make sure I have rockets in my hand. Yeah. But these ice roads, they go pretty expansive because since we expanded the border for 1.18, we do have some portals that are just quite far away from the main area. And I won't go through all these portals today. This is just to kind of show you that we... We're expanding our networks. We're definitely taking advantage of 1.18. Got all these ice roads just to kind of help people find out where they're going. Before we had a lot of torch spam on the nether roof. Um, kind of like this, but all over the roof. <laughs> um, and they... There wasn't really a rhyme or reason for how the torches were. There was no color coordination. There were no signs. I mean, now with the colors, we can know, hey, okay, are we going the direct 
direction that we want to be. Um, and with the subway network, we do have a map of that where you can see that this rail line is purple. That subway line is green. And so for the ice network, we have been color coordinating with what is planned for the subway network. It's a work in progress. Um, there's definitely still quite a few areas that don't have ice roads made yet, but um, big shout out to Nalira and Lynn because I know that they spent a lot of time <laughs> just prepping all of this. <laughs> The last community project that we're going to go over in this episode is our community ender farm. I'm actually not sure who built this, but it's here. I've actually only used it one time since it's been built because normally I just AFK at the gold farm. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so got water surrounding all of it. It gives it a nice cool effect. Um, some redstone down here to get rid of all the drops and stuff like that. What do we got? <laughs> oh my. <laughs> all right. All the ender pearls you could ever ask for. Anyways, guys, that'll be the end of this vi video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to see what the other meerkats are doing with their projects. There are some bases that I've actually never been to before. Um, and there's been a lot of people who have been on for just so many hours in one day. So I'm sure that they've made a lot of progress. And I'm looking forward to doing some interactions with them. Anyways... Have a great day, guys. Goodbye.